In this video, I'm going to explain why morning routines, daily routines are overrated and they're not actually the most important part of self-improvement. In self-improvement, morning routines are often the most talked about. Oh, do this ice bath and then get out and then put your electrolytes, drink them so you can be hydrated for the day. Then you go do your meditation and then you relax. You look at the sun, you sit down. These are all good things. I'm not saying they're not. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should not obsess over them. And first of all, yeah, before we start anything, if in case you're wondering, Arda, what the fuck is that on your nose? Well, like I said, with the breathing issues I have with the nose, I can't get surgery till I'm 18. So I'm trying these nose strips out and it actually helped for to sleep at night. So I was like, might as well keep this on. If anyone calling me Alex Ramosi copycat or whatever, shut the fuck up, yeah? All right, first I'm gonna explain a story because I never give advice if I never used it myself. I don't just say shit that I look on the internet and then it was never used in my life. So, as she's fucking hot in here, bro, I'm gonna take my tank top off as well. But fucking massive, bro, look at me, so. Ugh. So, this was three days ago. I had my usual morning routine, you know, cold shower, meditation, everything. And then one day, I couldn't sleep. This fucking breathing shit again. I don't mean to excuse everything I do over my nose problems, yeah? But this time, I really couldn't fucking sleep. It was like 1.30 a.m. or something. I may not sound late to you, yeah? But I usually wake up around 8.39, 9.30 max. But I sleep, wake up at around 10.30. I was like, fuck. And when I do my deep work, it's gonna be pushed out. It's gonna be like 2 p.m. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So then I was like, let me do my normal morning routine. I had my cold shower. I don't rush straight to the cold shower. I, I do cold shower. I look outside for a bit, sit down, drink some water, take my time. And then after meditation, after the gratitude journey, after all of that, I look at the time. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. I technically did my morning routine. I set up my day for success, but I got zero work done. What I'm trying to teach you guys here is your morning routines are not the stuff that will get you successful. Sure, it could be nice at the beginning. You know, wake up, cold shower, and then you just relax. Sure, it could feel nice. Especially when you're starting out to build discipline. But after a certain point, you wake up late, or your morning routine is just too long. Even if you wake up early, you're just wasting your time. Alex Hormozzi said this. He had someone telling him, Oh, I wake up and my daily routine is three hours. I go into this cold plunge, I do all of this. And then it's like 11 a.m. And, and I'm so tired, I, I can't work. What do I do? Well, we said, cut the three hours of morning routine out and replace them with work. Guess what happened? He got shit done. This is not to discourage you to not doing your morning routine. I still think they could be beneficial. And on the self-improvement journey, you can start to obsess with the good habits. Like if you don't go to the gym today, you're going to be really, really pissed off. It's going to be like an addiction, just like you did with fucking porn a few years ago. You have the same thing, but with gratitude journaling now. That was not the whole point of this morning routine. Your morning routine should be max 30 minutes. And I'm only adding extra because of meditation. Your morning routine could be one hour if you meditate for around 40 minutes. That's fine. But make sure when you do your morning routine, don't waste your time. When you wake up, straight cold shower. Don't just walk around the house, drink your water, and relax. Because time flies by. You have now like an addictive mentality. So do your morning routines. But if you wake up late, don't waste your time. Even if you don't wake up late, don't make your morning routine too long. Because it's bullshit. The most successful men you look up to wake up. Most don't even do the cold shower thing. They wake up and as soon as they open their eyes, maybe five minutes, drink some water or something, and they just get to fucking work. Because that's what's the most important. That's what gives you the biggest ROI. There's so much shit I don't like about the self-improvement industry, and this is one of the biggest things. Self-improvement just seems like mental masturbation nowadays. Like, you get a habit tracker, you do one line gratitude channel, yes, I can take it, yes, oh, I meditate, five deep breaths. Oh, 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 I can take it now. I said, I told you guys, get a habit tracker. It can give the positive dopamine boost. But the whole point is improving yourself. The point of self-improvement is not ticking boxes. That's what a morning routine could feel like. 
That's why when I made the morning routine video, I told you guys, cold shower, meditation, gratitude journaling. You don't need anything else. Even then, you can skip the cold shower. When you get to a certain amount of discipline, you don't need a cold shower to be able to work. I'll be honest right now, I did not have a cold shower today. Mainly because I don't really feel the benefits of having a high dopamine after the cold shower anymore. So I'm going to wait for a bit, then do it again. So I've been ranting this whole video. The only thing I want you to get is, don't make this your identity. Instead, focus on the stuff that actually matter. Hmm, you know, I do all this morning routine, but you know, I only work for about 10-15 minutes. Let's change that. Oh, my deep work is making descriptions for videos. Let me actually start scripting. Let me learn this. That's what gets you the results. Let's become a strong man again in a week's society. Bye.